Welcome to COP 3223. This is going to be a short introduction to the class as I teach it. First things first, if you want to contact me, use my email, richard.lineker at ucf.edu. You actually could send me a message through the web course, but it's, but it's indirect, and so sometimes it takes a while for me to get those messages. So instead of contacting me through the web course, go ahead and use my plain and simple email address, richard.lineker at ucf.edu. Um, give me about 24 hours to respond, Monday through Friday, and about 48 hours on the, on the weekends. My office is HEC 357, and I have office hours on Tuesday and Thursday from 2.30 through 4.25. You will be graded on 11 assignments, which are a total of 40% of your grade. You will also have four tests, which are a total of 60% of your grade. So this next point is really important. Late assignments are not accepted, period. You're all university students. You should be responsible. You should have no trouble uploading your assignment to the web course. Some people email me and say, well, I told you I'd I'd be late. Well, that doesn't make any difference. Um, emailing me, talking to me, saying you're going to be late doesn't make any difference. You have to be on time. Missed te tests cannot be made up unless you have some sort of extenuating circumstances. So in this course, we use code blocks. Um, you're going to have to go uh, out to the internet and download and install code blocks. And you can find it at codeblocks.org slash downloads. Um, I do not do technical support for code blocks. If I did, I'd spend the whole semester doing that. Um, if you have technical issues, issues, use Google to find solutions or ask your peers or read the documentation. Late assignments are not accepted. I know that I probably mentioned that already, but um, it's worth uh, reiterating since uh, students don't always think that I mean that. Missed tests cannot be made up except under extenuating circumstances. So if you have questions about grading, do not ask me. Start always with the TA. And there, we have three different TAs in this class. So some TAs grade tests, some TAs grade assignments. And you can always tell who graded it based on uh, the name that's in the web course. But so start with contacting your TA. If you've not gotten a resolution, come to office hours. Do not email me. It's very difficult to answer questions um, through email. So if you have grading questions, first contact the TA, then come to me, come to me during office hours. Please do not send me assignments via email. Um, it just doesn't work. The web course keeps everything uh, collected up in one place, and if you send it to me through email, chances are um, it's going to get lost or misplaced or I'll miss it or something. So I do not accept assignments via email. So this is something that uh, the digital generation doesn't always understand, but let's kind of go through it. First of all, you are encouraged to bring your laptops to class. Um, this is an excellent way to follow along. You, you can have code blocks open on your computer and follow the steps that, that we're doing in class. This is a great way for you to um, understand what's going on. Also, at the beginning of each class, we have a short exercise where you'll use your phone, tablet, or laptop to um, participate. Uh, during this time, it is encouraged to have phones, tablets, and laptops opened. But once we finish that, then we start lecture. And during the lecture, you sh should not use your phone or tablet. Uh, these distract from your ability to hear the lecture. I can't tell you how many times I said something two or three times, and 15 minutes later, someone asked me the same question which meant to me that they were not listening at all. And I mean, I can see people out in the classroom uh, on their phone. And I can guarantee you, if you're on the phone during class, it's going to definitely diminish your ability to learn. So turning in assignments, um, all assignments are going to be one or more .c files, when there's, and, and they're going to be zipped. And you can't always see the file extensions um, on my computer, I always I, I have my computer set so that I can see all file extensions. But uh, the, the file extension of the programs of uh, the files that you're going to be turning in are .c. 
Uh, for instance, you might write three programs, show weather, talk about my car, and favorite colors. Um, you can find these. Well, the first thing is when you run uh, code blocks, code blocks always gives you a file called main.c. That's always what it, that's its default name. You need to rename main.c to whatever the program is, like showweather.c, or talk about my car.c, or favorite colors.c. Um, if you turn in main.c, it will not get graded. You have to make absolutely sure that you're dealing with the C source code file. These will be listed as C source in the type column within File Explorer. I can't tell you how many times people have turned in CVP files. Those are, those are code blocks project files, and they don't have the source code. If you turn those in, you will not get credit for the assignment. So you just have to be careful. Now, this is your university students. This, this, these are easy steps, so you shouldn't have any trouble figuring this out. If you make a mistake and submit the incorrect file, it will not be accepted. Uh, if you have more than one .c file, which is almost all assignments, you need to zip them into a single zip and then submit that to the web course. All the assignments have the name of the .c files and the zip file that you'll submit. If you make a mistake and don't rename your main .c files exactly and submit the exact zip file required, you may not get credit for the assignment. So it's very important that you, you follow directions when you look at the assignments. Thanks, and have a great semester.